the ones have shown up. I'd price tails at around $30 to $50. The thing with this set is that at first they oh, hello, guys. Fine, but actually, just need to know that look. I've seen these guys on many sites besides eBay, and while yes, a lot of them are out of stock, there are some that, at the time of the event, are not least, do still have these guys right. in stock. I specifically see them on a lot of international sites. Here's the 2007 Knuckles. Okay, all the plushes in this set have some flaws, and yes, Sine did take some creative liberties when designing them, but for the most part, I feel those make these plushes cool and may even add to their appeal as it makes them unique. But I feel Sine went a bit overboard with his Knuckles. While he has things going for him, he's not exactly all that active. As you can immediately notice, some of his dreads are sticking out worse in ways they should have. This is an issue that was basically outside of this plush's control, seeing that these plushes were all sold to store to see on his back. I wouldn't attack Magnus. A 
Amy's arms are kind of full. A remake of Sonic 1 Bar.
was the reason behind why Tail stayed in stock for so long on sites like Amazon. The bootleg itself from first glance looks really close to the real plush. However, as you expect in a real plush, you can
Giovanni. translation of it onto this pouch. It's a pretty small pouch, so you can't fit much into it, but it's still a neat addition, even if just for the fact that it showcases classic artwork. It's attached to Kirby's arm. You could rip it off, but I'm gonna keep it on. Both the pouch and the plush itself have a pink plush tag on Yeah. 
Mushroom and ants are coming soon! Oh, there's one thing. Hermit. 